डिस्क्राइब already have sent the materials to you the topic ppt i have given to you how the aspiration and what is the meaning of uh, the uh, 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 prosperity you know and what is the happiness mainly meaning of our happiness how the uh, uh, final uh, uh, happiness can be achieved so uh, someone is okay agree so how ha happiness can be achieved by the people that has been described that has been given by bartle russell what he has told and so many examples from the mythological aspect and also from the realistic way in nature what it happens it has been uh, explained in details and on the last sunday it was a, uh, actually uh, that was a feedback system so it was very encouraging that last year i have seen i and professor maji we told several times to the students please be serious it just means you will be join a hey, someone is talking please don't do that please uh, be attentive i am telling every time you know so this year i have seen it last uh, uh, day that is sunday uh, some of the students have given they are feedback very nice they have listened some of the students is not listening that you know they have been connected but they are not listening so uh, there is the main thing you know so i expect that everyone will join and they will be they will uh, attend this thing and uh, you will you will listen not just listening okay you will attend all the things you know you what he, what is the allegorical what uh, uh, this lesson is speaking you know you will try to understand and i have told you understand you can take notes also and uh, we will take feedback from you feedback every sunday we will get feedback so there is a problem you know this time actually every wednesday the class is being taken at 7 pm to 8 pm and on sunday at 4 pm to 5 pm it is the feedback session you know but one thing i am telling you this year as because the, uh, the this five module that is 15 classes will have to just a minute so uh, that i am telling you you this time uh, you have to attend the classes and last uh, sunday i have seen uh some of the students have given okay. feedback very nice they have interacted very nice and it is encouraging to us to us means those who who are speaker we are trying to convey something some lessons to you regarding the usb you know it is a compulsory and mandatory courses non cgb course but must have to pass uh, it, it is the direction of aict and also ugc and another thing you know that uh, you see also due to uh, nep national policy of education 2022 which has been incorporated you know implemented in uh, all of the education system uh, it is mentioned that it will be in three credit now it is one credit it is a non cgb course and it will be the uh, next year i think it will be three credits so and that will be done in three semesters also anyway that is another but you would at uh, this year it had been mentioned that one credit course that is a uh, five module and 15 classes 
okay and i have given this uh, lesson plan in your youtube uh, i am sorry youtube uh, in uh, telegram uh, and also yeah, i pet the amount is just the phone class and right so, so first class i have taken what is called happiness what is called prosperity and what is yeah. the meaning of the mind inside the mind uh, you are the controller control you are you are to control your mind every mind has two sides one is positive and is negative so positive negative means that is good one and it is a bad one and after all you are you are due to exercise due to mental exercise due to thinking good thinking positive thinking you will you will realize what is good or what is bad and after that this good thing you have to take it and you have to exercise uh, in, in in the long in, in continuously and then you will uh, get the uh, happiness okay that i told i have uh, explained so many examples also and given the ppt to you ppt to you and next class that is that is being done uh, today it will be presented by professor uh, apuru pakhira he is from uh department of biological science at jais university he has a lot of experience not only experience in this line he has some uh, idea in connection with some mental exercise mainly meditation and some spiritual uh, exercises also some ethical part so uh, besides his academic uh, area that is the judicial you know the law and other regulation you know he is concerned with that but uh, rather that, uh, ex, uh, uh, besides those uh, area he is expert on other than a universe uh, value value oriented what is what is ethics what should we develop our ethics he is actively associated with that i have a interaction with him and i have seen he has some uh, some concern uh, regarding this uh, philosophical and the ethical sir i believe pakira sir is ready okay so, so, so oh na he uh, oh he told me that 10 minutes because he will be coming after 10 minutes that's i'm telling okay oh so it's already 7 i thought that pakira oh, sir oh acha no he told me that he had uh, his friend he he has gone to meet a friend he will take 10 minutes that's i'm telling okay he, oh it's fine fine so uh, you request me he, one of his friend is coming from canada So that's why he told me that he will uh, start after ten minutes. That is the thing. Otherwise, uh, uh, he is to he is to start. Anyway, Pakistan, you are ready. Hello, Pakistan, already. That's why I am asking. Hello, I think he has joined. Join means he is on the way. I think so. That is why he told me that. So he will be joining after ten or fifteen minutes. Okay. Yeah, previously, he told that I will join in time seven p.m. But later he told that I, by telephone he informed me that sir you continue discuss things at least take some ten minutes so uh, that's why I'm telling so anyway I'm telling I I'm to end now so because Professor uh, Doctor Akira sir will be speaking you know and I think uh, Professor Maji sir you are here hello hello Taki uh, Maji sir are you here hello. i think he is not here also so anyway that i am telling you so uh, i think uh, professor maji uh, he introduced just uh, he was present in just uh, in the introduction i think he he is traveling also by car that is i think uh, maji sir are you here hello not he is here anyway uh dr prakira i am telling you he will be speaking on a very interesting uh, area that has been uh, sent to you the lesson plan i have sent to you and uh, he will be speaking and after that i i have a discussion with him i had a, I had a discussion with you he will be taking a ten months uh, uh test and test i think if he is ready to then then he will be taking test today Uh, on ten marks and all the uh, topics on the on which topics and the topics that I've already presented to you last day and also the topic that he will discuss today. So on these two topics, 
two classes, the 10 marks, the 10 uh, questions will be given to you and the test, short test will be taken. Okay. So I'm telling you in five modules, you'll have to appear in five tests. Okay. Five tests, each, each test, each uh, of uh, 10 marks and in total 15 marks. So you have to secure at least 25 marks. Okay. That is our system. It is compulsory and mandatory or otherwise your course will not be cleared up. Okay. So this is a mandatory one. So it is non cgba course, but it is a mandatory one. That I'm telling and reminding you every class is in. So, anyway, I, 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 we have to uh, just search the, whether Takira, Professor Takira uh, is ready to uh, ready to speak or not. Uh, Professor Takira, are you ready? Hello? 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 No, I think he's not. Achha, am, I audible? am I audible to all? Hello? Anyone speak? The, am I audible? Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, Professor Pakhi, I think he told me that he will be coming and he sir. will start his lecture. Hello. Uh, hello. Pakhi, no, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. What do you want to do with the exam? What do you want to do with the exam? Sir, sir, sir. Don't worry for that. Don't worry for that. It is our task. Okay, okay, sir. No problem. It will be, uh, I think, Google form will be given and there will be no problem. Don't think about that. But only I request you to join, to attend. Then you will pass. <laughs> I'm sure. But if okay, you appear this examination, there is very simple question will be done. So if you uh, do not appear, there is the problem. Otherwise, if you appear, no problem. Everything. So main thing and uh, this test will not depend upon the uh, upon the knowledge base you know what you think what you do it will be very simple question will be uh, placed so that is not the matter of thinking you know the thing is that you have to attend the class you have to listen to uh, all things and uh, on feedback session on last sunday i have seen the, you have uh, attended and you have given feedback very nice, you know. So, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Some of the students are joining. Achha, I think it has been participated. 100 students have been done. I think joining. And some sound is coming. It is not on that. Anyway. I am telling you, if you want to, any query about the past lesson, you know, that is happiness, continuous happiness and prosperity, prosperity then you can speak. You go, until, unless Professor uh, Pakira is joining, so this time you can give your feedback. When he will be coming, he will join. I think he is on the way. Then he will start his lecture. So, if you have any uh, uh, question or you, any feedback, you can give now. So that is, I'm telling you, and because we have a time, because uh, he he told me that he is coming uh, 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 from a place, you know, he will take ten or fifteen minutes. After Sir, that, he will be start. He will be starting. Now, uh, Bolo, uh, someone is still in Sora Haldari, okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone, a, a, anyone who want to speak something? Okay. Okay, just a minute. Sir? Now, bolo. Was the exam process check by Bola Deben? Ask me here, how they? Aki Bola, Aragor Bolo? Mr. Balam. Eh? Examiner process, sir. Oh, examiner process, professor Pakira Neven. So, after joining, after taking class, he will speak very clearly. Evang ki hobe na hobe, ki rakam kota question hobe, ki hobe answer kota hobe. Everything he will explain. Okay. A completely, asudu eta bolte bari 10 marks question. Full marks is 10 for this first module. At Denmas, I think, Bosta questions, Jean General. 
তো উনি যদি মনে করেন যে পাঁচটা কোশ্চেনই দেবো দিতে পারেন ওকে দ্যাট ইজ আপ টু হিম গুগল ফর্মে হবে কি চাই হ্যাঁ সো ফার ইন নো ইট উইল বি ইন গুগল ফর্ম এনিওয়ে সো সো আজকে কি হবে एग्जामটা হ্যাঁ সো আজকে কি হবে एग्जाम সেটা দেখি উনি যদি আজকে রেডি থাকেন তাহলে আজকেও নিতে পারেন ভেরি সিম্পল কেস সো লেট হিম জয়েন বিকজ হি উইল টেক দ্যাট টেস্ট দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াই হি উইল যদি আজকে না হয় তাহলে নেক্সট ডে তে হি উইল টেক 93 জন লেট লেট হিম জয়েন এবং হি উইল টেক হি উইল প্রেজেন্ট টুডে হিজ লেসন এন্ড আফটার এন্ডিং হি উইল ভেরি গুড আচ্ছা <laughs> Okay. Okay sir. Pakistan sir, we will yes. speak all things to you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Abey apna to Google hai YouTube join kare bol sakta hai. Attendance ki para class se call. Bunch of attendance with us. Hey, don't use this type of attendance jagah na hoy na bhai. Tum jao ke padha. Am I audible? Am I audible? ভাই <laughs> Today my topic of discussion is, you know, uh, this is the, you know, the uh, subject, this is the under the universal human value. This is the broad area under that uh, the, the subject. There are different series of topics in the lecture. So today my topic of discussion is happiness. understanding happiness and prosperity correctly a critical appraisal of the current scenario method to fulfill the above human aspirations so this topic i shall start uh, i shall you know give one presentation i shall share the slide okay if the slides are not visible just you can tell me first of all tell me what is the object of this you know before that i want to tell you what is the object of offering this sub, you know sorry hello Yes, sir. Audible, audible. Uh, am I audible? But, uh, yes, yes, yes. You are audible. Yes, sir. What is the zoom line? Uh, I... Yes, sir. Yes. So, what is the object of you know, offering this uh, subject that... Uh, many people are till now joining. So, I am admitting them all simultaneously. So, uh, see this is you have come you have joined in the institute for the purpose of education okay education first you have to know what is the meaning of the term education
I am sharing the screen. Is it visible now? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is the screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Yes, sir. Just cooperate. Yeah. Uh, two kind of. See why we need value addition in our education. Education does not mean imbibing information from teacher's notebook to student's notebook. Right. Education means something different. Uh, now we are not using notebook. It is from teachers, you know, laptop to students, you know, notebook like that. It is not education. Education means something different. It is not only degree based. That's why we say that education without value, those who are having that, they are created the liability of the society. They will be just money earning machine. They will not add any value in the society. But education with value, they become the asset of the society. That is the object. With that object, we are offering this subject. And today's topic is the true happiness. Why we become, you know, how to become happy, why we become unhappy, and how we can overcome that in case of when we are unhappy. You can, you know, view this slide. Here, you are seeing that on the left side, few kids, you know, few, you know, monks, you know, very, you know, uh, and other side, very prosperous and powerful persons. But do you think they are happy? No, they don't look happy. But see, the happiness is, you know, quite apparent in the body and the face of the kids. That is the real thing. So in this lecture, we are getting two components. One is happiness and other is prosperity. We will see at the end of this lecture that how prosperity and happiness is having a paradoxical relationship. If you have more prosperity, will you be more happy? No. Many people with a very less, without anything, single penny, they are very happy. But many millionaires and billionaires, they are not happy. So that is the real thing. So where, what is the actual happiness that we shall try to find out here? First, we shall start with, you know, Mahatma Gandhi's view. What he is saying that the five <coughs> annexations list, listed by Gandhiji, the dehumanized nature of current scenario, that is quite valid at this present context, either it is in the state or in the, our country. Wealth without work. If you accumulate more wealth than work, then that will put more stress on your mind. More stress on your mind means will bring more unhappiness. Where you will keep that money, how you will keep it, all these things will be always, you know, haunting you. That will not give you happiness. Pleasure without conscience. You are doing some unethical thing where you are getting pleasure. That will give you instant, you know, gratification, instant joy. But at the end, it will be very poisonous. It will be very unpleasant, will bring unhappiness. Politics without principle, commerce without morality, and worship without sacrifice. These are the things all make people unhappy. Now we shall start. What is the ingredient of happiness? In the word of, we shall take the reference of Professor Seligman, who is a very from, you know, famous professor of US who works on positive psychology, he is saying this happiness includes three components. H, happiness means P stands for pleasure, E stands for engagement, M stands for meaningful life. P, pleasure. Suppose if you, if you uh, like Rasogolla, right? If you have one Rasogolla, you will get pleasure. Instantly, you will get some you know, happiness. That's true. Pleasure is one of the ingredients of happiness. But the very basic of the economics is that law of diminishing marginal utility. The more you consume per unit consumption, the rate of pleasure will reduce. The happiness that pleasure you received 
at the beginning for consuming one rasagulla, the happiness will be less when you are you know, having the second. It will be more less when you are getting the third. In that way, it will be reducing. And sometimes it will, you will not get any pleasure. That is the economics saying. Law of diminishing marginal utility. What does it mean? Professor Seligman wants to say that pleasure gives a very temporary pleasure. It does not last for the long time. Next is the engagement. You must be engaged in a work. If you become very much engaged or focused in that work, then you will get different kind of pleasures, satisfaction. That will last much more than P, pleasure. Suppose one neurosurgeon, those who are doing surgery, it takes hours and hours. After six, seven, continual, you know, spending in the operation theater, when they're coming out, they, they enjoy, they get a sense of satisfaction after a you know, uh, uh, successful surgery. Because they were so much engaged, so much focused in their work. You will get, you can also taste the same thing, engagement in that way. You want to enjoy, you know, enjoying now the what match is going on uh, New Zealand versus South Africa, right? In the World Cup. You are enjoying it, you are getting some fun, some satisfaction, some pleasure you are getting. But if you go in the ground and play, engage yourself in that, you will get much more pleasure, much more satisfaction. That is the engagement. And that will last for a long time, more than P. Next is the a meaningful life. You have to lead a purposeful life. Purposeful life in the sense, you have some life that is guided by morality with some object you have. Object means very high object you have to set in your life. Without that, you cannot, you know, will not succeed in life and you will not get any kind of, you know, happiness. You will not get any meaning in your, of your life. These are the three components. Next, we are coming in the Indian philosophy. What Indian philosophy is saying? In Indian philosophy, we know the four components of that dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Just remember the previous slide, uh, H equal to P plus E plus M. If we set this order, dharma, artha, kama, moksha, in spite of that, kama, artha, dharma, then moksha, then we can connect this thing with the happiness. Kamo means what? Pleasure. You are working. Working for what? For artha. People do work, work, work so much, earning. But after that, they sometimes think, what we can do? What, what is the next? Many people, you know, even in my, I am, Solester is very much senior, he can tell the experience better. Even my many friends, those who were in the law firm earning a lot, after that they are tired. They are saying that the money we are earning, we don't get time to spend that money. What we shall do that? Then they find for, so like it is you now adding 0, 0, 0. If you put 1 before that, after addition of every 0, it makes sense. But that 1 is dharma. Arth, kamo, artha, you will not give you that happiness. If it is not guided by dharma, means if your work, if your work is not guided by dharma, then it will not lead to moksha, mokha. So our Indian philosophy is saying that anything, any work that will do, that will be guided by dharma. Dharma has different connotation. In Sanskrit, you know, you will get hundreds of connotation of dharma. But dharma, don't take it in a religious perspective. Dharma, it has its own meaning. The etymological meaning, just means utputti goto meaning, jeta ke bola hai Bangalate. Etymological meaning of dharma is, it has been derived from the root dhri. Dhri purva ghan to a dharma. Dhri means which uphold something. What Supreme Court is saying about dharma is that it is righteousness. What is right, that is dharma. What is truth, that is dharma. Dharma is something that only upholds something, which protects something. Everything is positivity. 
that is dharma so always it is you know bounded by morality if your kamo and earth is grounded by morality then never you will feel stress on your mind if you deserve 10 rupees for any work if you get 10 rupees then you will not be worried but you, if you get 100 rupees if you take 90 rupees more that is unethically then you will be tensed always it, it will bump force in your mind right that will put pressure on your mind so don't you know do anything that is unethical your conscience will always ask will be asking you why you are taking more that's the thing that will not give you the happiness so any work any um, what you do that do on the under the foundation of dharma that is speaking the indian philosophy next we shall move to one by one we shall go we will go to vedantic perspective what that is saying that is that what vedanta is saying we are not i i means it is my body and mind that includes i if you want one ice cream why do you get the pleasure you get that pleasure in your mind mind is say that i am happy you are getting the pleasure here professor seligman is giving uh, not uh, one very good example of one dog what happened to that dog that dog used to you know chew one hard dry bone you know when he is chewing it when it bleeds his own uh, own flesh and taste blood then the dog feels happy what inference you can draw from it inference is that it is the it is your inside it is inside you whether you are feeling happy or not bone is the outside thing feeling happiness in your inside next day again he will chew the bone again he will get happiness that is you know called ananda sat chidananda your own soul is getting the feeling of happiness that is your inside you know it, it is very deeply you have to understand I, due to paucity of time we, we, i am not entering into this vedantic concept i shall just touch if anyone is interested you can read in detail you know what is the vedantic concept of you know body and mind is separate where we actually get the happiness then that means there is the mind sajivam dahate chinta nirjivam dahate chita mind is the main thing that actually get affected and we feel happy or unhappy only because of mind how many of us we, we we are all we are body centric all everything we do that is for our body right we wash our every day we take bath we you know for every part of the body we take different treatment you know for the you know ladies they do much more but how many of we take care of our mind do you think that we have one mind that is very important do you give 5 minute even per day even in a week to clean our mind or to maintain our mind no but that is the most important thing if you you know train your mind in that way then everything will be very much you know peaceful to you in that context is coming the buddhist approach professor orinam chakraborty who is professor of hawaii he is very nicely you know connecting buddhist approach in in this regard the mind how we get all this unhappiness in our mind what is the first you know what buddha is saying everything you know suffering must be there it is inevitable so that is the first arrow that you know the nature is you know throwing that arrow you know you will get disease you will get pain from your family member you will get you know feel accident so many things you know in your share market there may be down all these are inevitable 
This is the first arrow. But out of that, what is your reaction? That is the second arrow. Second arrow is your reaction to that first arrow. What Lord Buddha is saying that I cannot, my teaching, means the teaching of Buddha cannot do anything with the first arrow. That is inevitable. But if you follow, it is the, you know, the Buddhist approach, then there is solution for the second arrow. And, the, and there was a watch upon pain. There was you know, doctors were there, psych psychologists were there, neuroscientists were there. In that so, workshop, it was, you know, uh, they came into conclusion that if pain, we draw a concentric circle, then actual pain is 20%. But 80% pain happens due to this second arrow. Just you think, for the same disease, for the same cause, one person is shouting, is totally, you know, out of, you know, anger and other person may be cool, he is not reacting. That means that 20% is same for that both the person, but this here, it is varying. So how to, so sufferings must be there. How you can keep yourself detached from that suffering, that will make you happy. So you have to know how to control yourself. How to self-control? Self-control is one of the you know, very pertinent thing <clears throat> in this regard, regard. There is one very nice uh, experiment was done in US with the very kids. In the classroom, the um, small kids are there. They like marshmallow. That is one kind of chocolate in US. Then the teacher came and he told that I, shall, I am giving everyone one marshmallow. And I shall go outside for 15 minutes after coming back. If you don't have this marshmallow, then I shall give you second one. Do you want the second? Everyone told yes. But if you see, it is available in the YouTube. It is very funny. The moment teacher is, you know, crossing the door, one kids, you know, took that marshmallow. And when he returned, only few out of 22, I think only four or five, you know, they did not have that marshmallow. After 20 years, then it, they were tracked what they are doing. And it was found that those who did not have that marshmallow, they have signed. They are much more happy. They have succeeded in their life. That means those, this is, is the self-control. Those who have controlled their sense, then they are happy. Our human body is automated body, right? All, everything is, you know, it is an automatic machine. Even our mind is not our control, right? So if you can control your mind, then you will get that happiness. How to control that mind, that training of the mind, you have to know, we are coming for that. In, then comes the Advaita Vedanta. There, there, you know, Vidyaratna Muni is giving uh, all this with one example. The example is that 10 persons will cross a river. Then their leader, you know, told that, you know, the river is very deep. Let me count how many of you are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then after, then he told, okay, you go and uh, going there, you will count whether 10 of you have reached. Then 10 persons, you know, crossed the river. Then one started to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Where is 10? He is not counting himself. He is not counting himself. Mind it. The second person started to count. Same. Third person same. And they started to thought that the tenth person has drowned in the river. Then they started, you know, crying. One person was just passing. He told, what happened? They told this. Then he told, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is there. Ten is you. Then that person counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And myself, ten. So he told, yes, yes, found. 10% is found. What it is indicating? It is indicating that, you know, Professor, you know, some Vidyaratna Muni is explaining in Advaita concept, Vedanta concept, that we don't know ourselves. First of this, that's why we become unhappy. 
that is the first is organo ignorance due to this ignorance we do error that we what error we did we counted nine that leads to bhrama organo second is this bhrama leads to suffering dukkha from dukkha we get parakta gano what is parakta gano that you know outsider told that yes your team are there and we believed that is parakta gano next when he counted himself then he got the direct knowledge that is aparakkha gana then they became cessation of sorrow dukkha nivritti then they became happy so what he is trying to say that if you know yourself that who you are you are neither body neither mind you are the brahman brahma if you know that and if you think that within every one brahma is there then you know you will feel happy then suffering will not touch you in uh, we shall uh, discuss you know come in the context of bhagavad gita uh, lord krishna is saying the same thing <coughs> sorry sir is the am i audible and screen is visible no one is responding so i thought can anyone respond yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. anyone can uh, if any questions no no any one on having any question just keep it noted and i shall you know address all the question answer at the end okay the slides are not moving Uh, you? No. Then you know I am not you know making you more bored with the Upanishad uh, the concept. You know the, that Upanishad is saying that we for enjoying you know being happy we need one Sarira, one Vishaya and Loka. Sarira and Vishaya means one very you know capable. You must be competent. You need a solid you know healthy body first you need and good ambience. Sat Sang Jeta Ke Amra Boli. You need good ambience. Good amb. What we pay for? You think about one ice cream. The ice cream that you are taking the roadside at ten rupees. Same ice cream you have to pay five hundred rupees in the five star hotel. Why? You are taking that amb ambience. That is the reason. That is the local. So if you these are the three ingredient and for the from the Upanishad you will get if you read in detail. All these things, you must know, Adhyaka and Sadhu sir, you will get all answer from Upanishad. Why we become unhappy and what is the root of what is the way of become happy? So I am just going fast and due to paucity of time. Next, we are coming into the most important part is the Bhagavad Gita. They are, you know, in chapter. Sixteen, Sri Krishna is saying, "What is sukham? That is in the form of guna, three guna, tamasik, rajasik, and swatik. What is tamasik? Tamasik is like your mundane attitude. Mundane means a lack of excitement, dullness, that thing. You, you, you feel happy to sleep." With all this negative, all these things you get, that is a tamosi. Rajosi, guna is, sukha is, you get instant gratification. Okay, die like dopamine. So what is dopamine? You know, one kind of um, you know, drug that give you excitement. You know, you will feel happy. Uh, there is one book, Dopamine Nation. If you read that book, there you will get how people get excitement due to that dopamine. That is the rajosi sukha. Even in the context of music, that, that is a, that may be also one of the very good example. Those whose music are very much popular, those are rajosi, a huge high bass, and if rhythm is there, those are you know rajosi music. If you go to any 
night club, you know, dance bar, they use the high bass. It hits in your mind and give you instant gratification. You get joy. That is the Rajasik joy. And Rajas, what is the Rajasik joy? At the beginning, it is very instant gratification. You know, it is uh, giving you rector. At the end, it will give you poison. But Satik, at the beginning, it is giving you delayed gratification. Grat gratification. At the beginning, it is poison. At the end, you will get a nectar. Amrita. Okay. That is the three kind of Sukha, you know, Sri Krishna is saying. So if you want that to get actual happiness, you have to lead Satik life. They are, they are defining the true property and true wealth. What is true property? It is the concept of mind. Filled with desire. If your mind is filled with desire and insatiable demand, it cannot be fulfilled. Desire, you know, cannot be fulfilled without, you know, to, by enjoyment. If desire, fulfillment of desire gives birth another desire. It is like adding class, clarified butter, means ghee, in the fire. It just intensifies the desire. So if you have desire in your mind, you never will feel happy. That is the mental property. If you give the whole, you know, the uh, wealth of the world to someone, still he will not be happy if you don't take the property nest from your, that mind. And true wealth, that is feel being content what you have. Whatever you have, you are happy with that. You don't have any desire. So, you know, uh, Ramakrishnan Dev uh, is to say that if you are praying to God, pray for desirelessness. Other thing you, uh, you know, pray from your parent or other thing. When you are praying from God, don't pray for, you know, very small, small materialistic thing. And true happiness comes by reducing desire. Now I shall, you know, conclude uh, with uh, some time. What, how we can reduce this desire? Two types of work we do, Sokamo and Nishkamo. What is Sokamo? Sokamo means where I have desire. That means I am doing something for my benefit. I have some interest. I have some expectation. Nishkamo means when I am doing something not for myself, for others. I don't have any expectation. Here also, Professor Seligman did one very good experiment. What he did, one day in the class, he came and he told students that, sir, today we don't have any class. We shall go to watch a movie. Everyone became very excited. So let us go for the movie. After watching the movie, they came back and he gave one questionnaire to fill up. And he took the feedback of all the students. In the next class, he told, okay, guys, today we also have no class. We'll go at the outskirts of the town. There is a village where we shall meet with some orphan boys. There we shall distribute chocolate, food, and you know, used clothes, all these things. They went there and they distributed all these things and then came back. After that, same way, he took feedback of, from the students. After six months, he went with another you know, questioner. And he asked the student how many, and most of them, surprisingly, they even cannot recall the name of the movie. But they were very much conversant. They can remember that visit to that village. That means when they did something for the others, that is you know, giving them much more happiness. Sanskrit bol se ki je ke chit dukhita loke sarvatra sa suke chaya je ke chit sukhita loke sarvatra anna suke chaya je nije sukh sab sumay chay se dukho pae je onne sukh sab sumay chay se kintu sukh pae that is the you know concept and it practically it happens you remember in one whole year how many sweets you are having? You cannot remember. But if one sweet, if you you know go offer to any uh, destitute or any street child, that you can remember, right? That is the happiness. So when you do something for the others and you don't have any expectation, then you will get that happiness. 
that is the lesson. And even Vivekananda is saying the same thing. Unselfishness, selfishness is moral, and selfishness is immoral. When we act selfish way, then we get you know feel unhappy. What he is saying then? He is saying, don't search for happiness. You search for happiness more, you will be more unhappy. And what you, you will do? You do, you want the strength to face the unhappiness. If you have that strength, if you gain that strength, then you will be happy. Even uh, Rabindranath Tagore, he is also saying the same thing in one song. He was saying, Bipode more rokha karo, enohe more prasthona, Bipode ami najano kuri boy. Dukho tape, batito chite, naiva dile santona, Dukho jano kurite pari joy. He is also saying the same thing. Give me that power, give me that strength to overcome this. I am not seeking any favor from the God, from the uh, uh, power to avoid this. Let it, it, it will come, it is inevitable. All this will come. I can overcome that. Then all the suffering, what Vivekananda is saying, suffering can be removed by service only. Then what is way out? How we can do it? How we can be moral and all these things? What is the way? The way is leading some spiritual life. Spiritual life does not mean that you have to you know, go to you know mandir, masjid, or mosque like that. Spirituality is something different. Okay, spirituality. The best definition I I, I want to share here is that Swami Ranganathan Nandaji said, what is spirituality? He says, when I close my eye, I get my inner peace. When I open my eye, my attitude is what I can do for you. Just remember, when I close my eye, I get my inner peace. But in our case, even we sit for meditation, we so many things are coming in our mind. We never get inside peace. We cannot concentrate. When we open eye, then we think what I can take from you, not what I can do for you. The moment you can develop this attitude, that is spirituality. Then only you will get happiness. I want to finish this, you know, with the very one, you know, my favorite. Ratan Tata, he gave one example when he felt he became most happy. He told that four times I have felt happiness. First, during the stage of my life when I acquired wealth, then I became happy, but it does not feel happy enough for a long time. Second, when I could buy things and valuable with my wealth, then also I became very happy, but that was also temporary. Third time, when I was honored to become the owner of the largest steel factory in the in India and also the world. But even that achievement did not bring me the happiness that I imagined. What when he became the most happy? When his friend invited him, you know, requested him to give 200 wheelchairs to distribute among the handicapped, you know, kids. And he also requested to present, uh, uh, be present in the Rotten Tata. And he accepted that. After the distribution of those, you know, wheelchair, one kid, you know, hold his leg. Then he tried to take it out. And he is trying to get it out, he is holding more tightly. Then he asked that kid, what do you want more? If you want something more, I can give you. Then you know what that child replied? The child replied, I want to remember your face so that when I meet you in heaven, I can recognize you and thank you once again. Ratan Tata is saying that that was my fourth time I felt happiness and till my life I, I, I carry that truly and completely happy that time. Same thing, you know, uh, happened to our ex-president um, said that who was the missile man, Professor Abdul, the Kalam, Professor Abdul Kalam. He also, in the same way, he is mentioning 
in india they were struggling for some metal which is very high melting point but very weightless when it was discovered you know uh, uh, then immediately he th he did not think about that you know how to use the cryogenic engine what came in his mind can we prepare you know watching stick by this you know metal this will be very lightweight people can happily work handicap to sit and the day he found and one person is watching by that stick and you know, waving his hand he told that was my maximum highest achievement i felt maximum happy that day this is happiness okay with this i conclude i, I finish my this discussion if anyone have any question uh, i'll be happy to address any now, question to ask quickly Forum is now open to all for you know taking question. Acha, anyone? Acha, there will be a feedback session. One thing I'm telling you, uh, 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 Akira sir, hello. Acha, you have a taste. You have to give it to me. Give it to me. কি বলে গুগল ফর্মে করে দিন সেটা তিন চার ঘন্টা সময় বা আজকে দিলেন কালকে সকালে অফ করলেন তাহলে হবে আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে স্যার তাহলে কালকে গুগল ফর্মে আমি क्वेश्चन করে আমি ড্রপ করে দেব দিয়ে দেবেন আর সেটা চার পাঁচ ঘন্টা থাকবে ওদের হ্যাঁ বলে দেবেন টাই ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ তারা ওরে থাকবে আজ কালকে তাহলে করে দেবেন হ্যাঁ ওকে এনি क्वेश्चन স্টুডেন্টস ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এনি क्वेश्चन ইউ ক্যান আস্ক Hello. Yes. and uh, e means engagement yes. and can you explain m m is meaningful life purposeful when you, you, meaningful life means what you are yeah. doing with some noble object it okay. is it, it, it has some morality okay yeah. it must be guided by the ethics that is the meaningful purposeful life That's okay you have to set I... some high value for your life okay then, sir then only you will be uh, feeling happy that will, okay, that happiness you. that happiness will be much more lasting than previous two p for very less time you will be feeling happy less lasting okay m mm. it that last for more time but meaningful mm. life that you will be continuing for maximum time yes yes sir thank you sir i have yeah. a question yes okay bolo sir i have a question Yes. Uh, bolo, bolo. Tell your name and then. Sir, I am Shaborni Pal from B8 first, uh, B8 first semester. Okay. Sir, can you can yes. you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, tell you, say your tell your question. Sir, I just want to ask that what about the test that you, you are going to take? It yeah. will be. It will be circulated uh, uh, in the Zoom meeting, or you in will be. In a group. Uh, is there any group? If people have one group, I think. Sir, we have one Telegram group and one. Uh, WhatsApp group. Have uh, one WhatsApp group, official group of B. Okay, in that group, you will get it. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, thank you. It will be given tomorrow. You know. Uh, it will, uh, you will have time at least two or three hours after that uh, it will be uh, uh, off so you will be you will answer on that okay anyone any question any more question sir uh, just one request if you can uh, share the uh, ppt uh, uh, it is you know it will be it is available on the youtube it's just search you will get it even i can give the ppt You can share it on the Telegram group. That would be helpful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Any question? Okay.
Although I think there is no question. Uh, you yes, have explained very nicely. Yeah, you have you can actually explained very them. nicely and explicitly. That is why uh, there is nothing. Uh, I might be boring them. <laughs> right, right. That is maybe it is a good one. Okay. I think that is why they have understood all things. Uh, so it will be helpful to them. So I think I request you to uh, give a Google form tomorrow and they will answer okay. it. And will, the first module will be finished. Okay. And I'm okay. telling the students, you know, next uh, fourth, on fourth, Professor Kamal Kant Rai will take the first class of second module at 7, uh, 30, 7 p.m., you know. And on Sunday, feedback session will be taken, that you know. On Sunday, feedback session will be taken at 4 p.m. Okay, sir, is there any uh, anything to speak? Then uh, no, you sir, can convey. And if this uh, complete, if uh, there is no question, then we can close today's meeting. Oh, okay. Okay, then uh, uh, thank you, everyone. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Thank, thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.